SMT Nation, we back. We got a video for you guys here today, probably something you want to know. Uh, this could potentially impact you on a lot of different fronts if you are a T-Mobile customer. So here's what's going on. I'll tell you what they're doing and then what facets of the business and how it might impact your bill. And I'll give you guys my take on it at the end. All right, so this is apparently from a T-Mobile systems screen or some kind of like an internal memo that employees would be able to see. We're replacing the assisted support and upgrade support charges with a one-time $35 device connection charge for all mobile and broadband devices. Key dates listed below. All right, so uh, we'll look at the dates here in a second. It says, why are we making this change? Uh, according to T-Mobile, we're simplifying the one-time charges, which previously applied differently across channels and devices, to deliver a more consistent and straightforward experience for customers. In terms of what it applies to, all activations and upgrades for mobile beyond the smartphone and broadband, including home internet and small business internet devices. Where it applies, in-store, online, through chat, and via customer care. Activation and upgrade transactions in-store, online, through chat, and via customer care means everything. All right, key dates, November 3rd. The assisted and upgrade support charges at $35 launch for all beyond the smartphone and broadband, including home internet and small business. And then November 15th, the old one is retired. The device connection charge launches in-store, online, through virtual retail, via customer care for all mobile beyond the smartphone and broadband devices. All right, folks, so here's what exactly T-Mobile did. So T-Mobile cannot change their rate plans. They are, you know, they have to keep the pricing the same because of the T-Mobile and Sprint merger, right? They acquired them. The government allowed it. They've got a three-year price lock. They can't touch anyone's plans for at least three years. Do they want to touch anyone's plans? I'm not really sure. You know, I'm not sure like if that's on their agenda, uh, if that's exactly what they're going to do. But they have watched both AT&T and Verizon raise pricing on multiple occasions. And if you look at the service revenues at Verizon, they increased by 300 million. AT&T was about the same. T-Mobile's went up 70 million, right? So they're they're on the outside looking in on all this price increase business. Now, additionally, what they did with this is instead of having different naming things for like different charges, they're going to just make this one charge. So that that simplifies it for them and that simplifies it for the customer. However, this charge now applies to every damn thing at the company. So before it was when you upgraded like your phone lines in the store. So everybody assumed, oh, this fee is, you know, for the, um, you know, the representative that works in the retail store, right? Well, now they're not just doing it in the store. Now they're doing it online via chat, online order. You can't avoid it anymore. Before you were able to kind of evade and sidestep this, this, this fee, by doing stuff online. And it looks like that is indeed the case. You are not going to be able to sidestep this anymore. If you purchase a device through T-Mobile, you are going to be hit with a $35 charge in some form of an activation fee. Okay, so now it's being changed from, you know, the assisted support and upgrade support charge. It's just going to be called the device connection charge. And now it applies to every single thing across every single method or medium within the company. So there's no more sidestepping it at all. Good to know you're a customer. You deserve to know. You need to know the sooner the better. It allows you to plan moving forward. If you were going to hold off until the end of November or something to buy a device and you want to sidestep this, go ahead and upgrade here in like the next week. Well, actually, no, it says November 3rd. So you get like two days <laughs> at the time of this recording, which it may be too late by the time you're watching this. I don't know. It, is the $35 really that big of a deal to you? I don't know. That's that's up to you. Um, you can always upgrade your device through Apple. You can upgrade your device through, um, you know, the OEMs like Google and Samsung and stuff, and they don't charge activation fees. But when you're going to finance through a carrier, these are some of the things you, you got to be able to stomach. But again, another thing that T-Mobile is doing to try to sidestep their end of the bargain, you know, and price locking, they're going to Raise the pricing on basically every single thing outside of the pricing and plans. All right. So just an update and you guys tell me what you think about this and does it upset you as a customer? 
Do you think it's kind of shady? Do you think um, it could have gone about this a different way? I don't know. Whatever you guys want to let me know. Update uh, updated information. Good to have as a consumer. Uh, go ahead and sign off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Go ahead. Every day is a new day, folks. Go out there and be great. Every day is the best day to try and be better than you were from the last. Words of motivation from the SMT. We shall see you soon on the next one. Peace.